guys, we've just fired up the Flex CNC. We're gonna home out each axis and I'm gonna show you how. We're gonna start with the tool changer and go in reverse order. That way we can clear the Z axis all the way up before we move the Y or X. Tool changer, home. And keep in mind, while that's homing, this machine has the old G5 drives, so we have to home out each axis. But on our new S1 drives, when we fire up the machine, it automatically knows its position and there's no need to home the machine. All right, Z axis, home. Or watch the head move up, find its position. Y axis, home. And X axis, home. Alrighty, now that's done, we're gonna load a tool, set the tool length, and then we're gonna set a zero and run our part. All right, so now for the next part here, I'm gonna load this CAT50 tool in the spindle. This is one of the drills we're gonna be using for our program, and we're gonna bring it down to the tool setter, set the length, load it into the control. I'm gonna show you how easy that is. So I'm gonna be using my, the uh, hand pendant here to load the tool. So I'll just push the tool clamp button. All right, so now we're gonna jog the, the gantry down to the tool setter, set the height. Let's go. All right, so what you're gonna see us do is we're gonna jog the spindle over the tool setter there that you can see. Let's move it on in. All right, there's X. Y and let's bring Z down a little closer. All right, we're a little under an inch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit here, tool calibrate. Automatically comes down, it's gonna set the height. Go to our tool offset page, tool four. See it, we set it there at 6.1508 for our 27.64 mega muscle. All right, now that we have our tool length set, we're gonna go ahead and put that tool away, grab our edge finder, and set up our first zero point for the program. I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right, so let's drop tool four back in the carousel, and we wanna come back with an empty spindle so we can go ahead and put our edge finder in there and set our zero. So I'm gonna set that to zero, hit change. So put that tool away and come back to us with an empty spindle. All right, so we have our edge finder here. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the spindle, move the head down and go ahead and set up our first zero point for the program. Our G54.1, I think we're doing position one for this program. Um, this is a Fowler edge finder, has a nice LED light that'll indicate and we'll show you how that's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and we'll move the gantry down. All right, let's move it down. All right, so for our first zero point, we've moved the head down to the general work position where we're gonna be setting up our zero. And we're gonna go ahead and jog it down. We're gonna, we're gonna set the zero for the, um, the back left-hand corner. So we're gonna touch off on X off the left-hand side of the plate here. And then we're gonna go back and touch off on Y on the back rear of the plate. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and jog it down. We're gonna move Z down first. And I'm using the pendant now. I've just got more control of the machine. That way I can just put it right where I need to because I don't want to break my uh, edge finder here in this case. We'll slowly jog it down into place where we want it. We're gonna move X in a little bit because again, we want to touch off on the X axis here to set up our, our back left-hand corner as our zero point. We were moving 10th out at a time. I'm gonna go to one here and we're gonna jog X positive a little more. There we go, we got the red light. There's one, that's off, that's on, that's just one thou right there. 
I'm going to go ahead and go into the controller, go to my work offsets, and we agreed this was G54.1P1, and this is my X. I'm going to say X here, set current machine position for this offset, OK. And now the key thing we have to remember is we have to subtract half the diameter of the edge finder. Um, and in this case, this is a, a 200 edge finder. So I'm going to go back into X here, plus 0.1, enter, OK. And now we have our first uh, offset for X axis set on G54.1P1 in this case. Let's go ahead and bring Z up, clear it, get it out of the way. All right, now we need to go ahead and move it back and we're gonna touch off the, the back of the plate to set Y axis. We'll bring it back to the corner and then where we can touch off on the plate. So let's go ahead and move X down. That's good, let's bring Z down. I'm actually gonna come around to the side of the machine to make sure I can see it well. Moving one thou at a time here just to move it nice and slow until we see that red LED. All right, there's the light. Let's come off one. There's on, there's off, on. We're touching right there. So I'm gonna go ahead into the controller. There we are on Y. I'm gonna hit Y, offset position okay. And again, we have to subtract the, uh, the diameter of the edge finder. So minus 0.1, enter, okay. All right, so there's our Y, Y is set now. I'm gonna go ahead and let's move it back off here. All right, so let's move it on out. The next thing I want to do, I want to show you guys is we're going to show you how to set the, the Z offset in this case for this particular plate. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the tool, I'm going to bring the edge finder out here. We're going to take it out of the machine because we're done with the edge finder for now. Now for setting our, our Z for our offset here, I'm going to show you how to do that manually. And keep in mind, everything I'm showing you today is how, do, how we have to do this manually if we don't have the Rennie Shaw probe option. But just want to show you how easy it can be done. Let's go ahead and grab a tool, and we're, I'm going to show you how to manually set our Z um, work offset. Let's grab tool two. You'll see what I put in there. I put in a, uh, a four inch block so we can easily get the height. And I'm gonna show you how. So there's 20 thou, let's go 10. Oh, that's right on the money right there. So that's perfect, right on the money. It's just barely, just barely kissing it. So now we know there's our uh, we know where the top of the part is. So let's go back into the controller and set it. We're working in this one. We're playing with Z right now. So we need to bring Z down. We know that blocks four inches. So minus four. Enter. Okay. And now we need to minus the tool. So we can go back and we know we have tool two. So let's go to our tool offsets. And tool two is five point four. Zero, zero, zero inches. So back to work offsets. We need to go to Z and do another minus 5.4 inches. Okay. And we have our Z set. All right, so we're gonna grab our, our block out of there now that we have Z set and we're gonna put it away. I'm gonna come over to the machine we're gonna to go to auto mode. 
where we have our program loaded already. Um, had we not, we just simply load a new file and put it in the controller. But in this case, we have our program name at the top. This is our cart top in this case. Um, some notes. And looks like we're going to start with T2, which is what we have in the spindle. So we're ready to hit cycle start and get started. We're at 100% and we're just letting it run the cycle. Everything looks good. It's running just like I expected. Um, no surprises. We have our tool length set properly. Our, our work offset was set correctly, and uh, we're ready to go. So it's that easy. Here, let's take a look at the drill. So we drilled the four corners first, then count, we took an end mill and ramped down and counterbored the four uh, big corners. Now we're using that mega muscle drill where we set the tool length, and we're going down here at about 50 inches a minute through this steel and drilling these holes. All right, so you can see the machine still hard at work here, just finishing all those holes. There's more than a couple hundred drilled and tapped holes there. And we're just breathing right through it. So I'll show you the, here's our print. There's the part we're making. And here's the finished product actually. So it's this handy work table. Um, this is what we're working off of and this is the plate we're actually making. All right, guys, so you'll notice we have a little pause in the program here. I'm going to take the calipers here, and we're going to go ahead and take the print and do our first inspection before we continue on and start scrapping parts. So we're going to take this up here, and let's go take a look. So we check the holes. We're going to go over here. And so, so you can see right there we're on the MOO or a MOO. As a pause, we'll come up here that we're ready and hit cycle start. And we'll let it continue. So first off after the moo is we're basically just milling the some countersinks on the on the bigger counterbores. And now we're gonna come back in and countersink every single hole. So something that would really help with this operation would be uh, investing in a, a combo tool, a drill chamfer combo. So that way you saw how fast we were drilling with that mega muscle. We could drill, continue down in Z and do the chamfer all in one operation. And that would completely eliminate this entire cycle here. All right, now we're just going along here. I'll show you the progress. Just finished drilling, chamfering and rigid tapping all these holes. All right, now that the program's finished, I'm gonna go ahead and move the controller out of the way. We're gonna grab the crane, grab this plate off the table. I'll show you how easy it is to move them out of our pneumatic clamps here. A uh, simple job like this, so check it out. Just a little joystick valve here. Open, open, and open. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the crane. Hopefully you guys were able to learn a lot today. We showed you how to set a tool length, uh, how to set your work offset, load your program, hit cycle start, and, uh, and let it rip. So any questions, reach out to us. We're at flexmachinetools.com. Check out our website. We have a ton of machine tools, a lot of options to help you guys make more money on your next job. And uh, if you have any questions, we look forward to hearing from you. I'm Nick Kennedy signing off. Until next time, thank you.